If you live on a narrow boat, then you've, you've got problems. You've got problems with water running out, you've got problems with the power in your batteries, and you've got problems with things just breaking all the time. And the thing is, you can't even really blame the boat because when you add up all of the resource and energy that just goes into normal daily life, all of that actually places quite like an unfair strain on a narrow boat or really any off-grid living situation. You're gonna need a bigger My solution that I'm proposing in this video is not a bigger boat. Instead, my solution is Instead, my solution is this note. Can you please? Outsourcing. So, see, because I, I outsourced the job of telling you what the solution was to, to Joanna. That's why that's a little funny joke. Do you think that was funny? I thought it was hilarious. In the world of business, outsourcing means when a company gives a third party some of its jobs and responsibilities so that that company can concentrate on its primary task and get it right. If you're a boater, it basically means getting off the boat every once in a while and trying to spread your life out a little bit into different places so that you lessen the load on your boat. We've been staying in this lovely marina whilst we've been away. Um, so before we go, I'm gonna make use of the facilities and do our bins, laundry, and have a shower as well. A really long, hot shower. They've got um, really nice facilities here. It's a really nice marina. Everyone's been really friendly towards us and very welcoming. It's a shame we have to go so soon, really but we do have to get a move on. For some reason I especially love the shower block. I love anything that makes me feel like I'm camping, pretty much. That's better. It's so easy to start taking these outsourcing luxuries for granted. About all those things that we now take for granted being here, the washing, the showers, the hot water, the water being right next to our boat, being hooked up to electric, the batteries being charged. I get used to all that and then I think, how do we manage when we're continuously cruising? And I can't really figure it out until we actually go and do it. Forgot my towel. Also forgot hairbrush. So there's downsides to this outsourcing too. You've got to be more organised than me. That might have looked like it was going badly, but I was pretty proud of that. I didn't realise, I didn't even look at the exit from the marina or how the canoe was going to get out, so pretty pleased with that. I've got my hood up because the wind's really cold, but otherwise this is lovely. So nice to feel the sun and be cruising around. I should probably say why we're doing this move um, out of the marina so quickly. But we are opening this weekend, coming, so Easter weekend, the 8th and 9th of April. Um, it's also my birthday. I might make a special birthday cake. It's a bit sad to make your own birthday cake, isn't it? But as long as everyone else eats it, I'm saying that's fine. Um, and we're going to moor up in High Lanes. Hi, William. moored up so we're gonna stay here for today and I think go and do some shopping um, for all the bacon the jaw of a dead fish on the floor that's the head of the python it's the snout yeah and that's the lower jaw I'm off to the shops now to get ingredients for Joe's baking but on the way, I'm gonna stop by a gym. Not because 
I'm getting hench. Ah, thanks. But because I'm going for a shower. These days, especially when we're trying to open the cafe on the weekend, anything I can do to kind of preserve the water tank on zero is a good idea. Even if it costs me five pounds or something like that to go to the gym, it's still worth outsourcing those showers. Sorry for the wobbly camera, this is really cobbly. Check out this building that the gym is in. Now I just gotta figure out how to get in there. And then it, do I need would I need that key to get in? Nice. very cold shower but that's all that needed to happen and it happened outsourced mission accomplished it's also just pretty weird filming in a gym changing room it looks like there's loads of really cool stuff that goes on in this building there's a theater school and an art club and it's just such a cool building now i'm off to uh the shops just to get some stock so that Joe can do some baking today. It's a little bit rainy. This trolley has a wonky wheel and it's just started raining outside. But other than that, it's all good news. I just got a puncture. I heard it. Well, I even saw it. I went over like a big sort of thorny, you know, one of these things. And one of them just went straight in. It never stood a chance. That's okay. I think I've got everything I need to fix it. <laughs> Luckily, I always cycle prepared. I don't mean probably to look as smug as I probably just did then, but I am actually pretty pleased with myself when I I forgot that I bundled it all up like that as well. <sighs> there's actually a bike repair shop, or at least there's a sign for a bike repair shop in that building. But this is actually one area where I think I feel qualified enough to say that I would recommend not outsourcing kind of mechanical or like DIY dramas. I always think you're better off, at least at first, if you can, trying to do it yourself. That has the bonus of then obviously you learning a little bit about it, but also quite a lot of the time, the first fix, doesn't matter who does it, the first fix doesn't work. So at least if you've done it yourself, you know what you did. I think I've done it. Hopefully this will get me home. Another thing I'm trying to outsource today is a delivery address. It's Joe's birthday on the weekend and this pub right by the canal has been really nice in letting me use their address as a delivery address. Oh, yeah. Excellent, thanks very much. No problem. That's perfect. Now the trick will be trying to hide it somewhere where Joe won't notice until the weekend. This is the first episode of games that you can play on a boat that you can't play in a house. <laughs> Basically what happens when you live on a boat is that you end up outsourcing quite a lot of your private space to public spaces. And one thing that I've learned after quite a while of doing this now is that summer, and I know it isn't summer just yet, but summer, it's a lot easier than winter.
baking day. Yeah. And we're using these aprons, not our, our Holly the Cafe boat aprons, because I know how messy this is about to get. <laughs> I'm going to bake more than I've ever baked in my life. I'm talking your chocolate cake, your raspberry and almond tart, like things I haven't baked before. We're doing it today. Wow. Full steam ahead. Okay. Yeah. I want a really good menu. And also, I'm going to follow the recipes from what I've written down to form a cookbook. So this is how I'm recipe testing, like making sure that I've written it down right, is just by following it myself. So if there are no cakes this weekend, <laughs> someone's got a lot of work to do on that cookbook. <laughs> What do you reckon is your favourite part about baking? Probably moments like that, the satisfying moments like um, whipping egg whites, making a meringue, making a meringue buttercream, melting chocolate, like all that stuff. And obviously then when it comes out looking as it should. But this bit's pretty good as well, just like, I don't know, it's like the consistency of stuff. Or something like that that's very satisfying. So that's what does it for me. <laughs> and jinx it. With that kind of mixture, it doesn't look like it can go too wrong. I'm well excited. Now we've started. I'm so excited for the for the summer ahead. Meet some people, have some chats. Like, it's just a good time, isn't it? Okay, now reset. Let's see Victoria sponge out, coffee walnut going in. Yeah. This is a new one and I, it was like a totally new recipe. But I think they've turned out amazingly. They smell so good. That's all like fresh raspberries um, mixed with raspberry jam and then like a almond sponge on top of a biscuit layer, top of flake almonds. <laughs> that does look incredible. And also it didn't take very long. Jo discovered her birthday present. <laughs> yeah, I did. I thought, I thought like, oh, it might not have been well hidden, but I don't remember you getting it. I don't know how you got it. Here, yeah, so that's a mystery. There's a few more logistics to work out um, from living on the boat and moving around all the time with things like that. So I think you've done very well. Thanks. Yeah. Time, yeah. I was thinking about when we were in the Netherlands and Joe said that one of her resolutions is to beef up her bike. Yeah, they've been a game changer for you, haven't they? Yeah, I've loved it. So he's got me some, these are front pannier racks, aren't they? Yeah. Are they? Yeah. So the front pannier racks, we are matching rack. So then I can rack up the front with Bill on the back. And also one of the things I wanted from the Netherlands was like a front pouch, because I think it's good just for like chucking your stuff in and it's like low, low key. Yeah. Um, so he got me a front, oh, that's really light, a front pouch as well. I'm, looking, I'm not actually gonna open them up until tomorrow so that I can feel them and everything tomorrow yeah, yeah. but um that's really exciting i can't wait we're gonna go on a bike trip i think now we can like fit so much in there yeah that's great isn't it yeah exciting. Exciting. Like it. Yeah. Yeah. we're all in position yeah for oh, yeah. this weekend we're here partnering up with their waltzing matilda boat this weekend these guys do pizza amazing pizza and coffee and cake and things like that i think this weekend they're actually hiring the place out to a friend of theirs who's also a chef to do korean food we're the next boat that's not our boat that's our cafe boat but that boat in between is also doing we haven't met them yet but they're also i think a trading boat doing um bags and crocheted things and stuff like that so that could be cool wouldn't it we're excited yeah i mean i don't i don't mind but um, well if you're doing it on saturday anyway but also oh, yeah. something exciting about this weekend is that we've got some crew imogen do you want to introduce yourself to your i, I hate this <laughs> i'm behind the camera okay i'm imogen i work in television i've been doing it for 17 years um, I am a PD, which is producer director, so I film with this camera and it's generally people doing what they're doing in their daily lives for a documentary, which is currently about narrowboats, which is why I'm here today. That's great, Plastic. you nailed that. Yeah, you're you're <laughs> wasted behind the camera, isn't it? I'm not sure about that.
Thanks guys for showing us everything. No worries.